great lift, great lift. Getting like in better shape with each day and yeah, feeling good. Are you doing stuff to like uh, stabilize the foot or is it just kind of just keeping your body in shape at this point? Both, yeah. Also a lot of foot stuff like foot and I don't know what's it called, intrinsics or something. I don't, I don't know this word. And uh, also a lot of like stabilization, hips, a lot of strength also for my legs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I asked Joe uh, after the first couple of days of camp, everyone was talking about the level of competitive nature that was in the practice. Uh, how has that been either maintained or gone up? Like, what have you seen over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, no, it's been it's been high intensity for sure. Especially today, we had uh, JB and JT going at it at the end of practice. Um, with high intensity and high competitiveness, uh, which was really fun. And uh, overall, yeah, very competitive practice with a lot of like kind of like exhausting like hard drills and uh, but yeah like great energy and, and, and having fun while doing it. You haven't had a lot of time to work with Tatum or Brown in the preseason game so far. How have you been able to kind of make up for that in the practices? A little bit, a little bit but I would say the main uh, the main like time when we will get that rhythm and that like chemistry will be when we're actually playing in the game because you know especially training camp it's High intensity, everybody's kind of like running around, like it's a little bit of chaos. I think once we get on the floor and we have more of that, like, like uh, focus, like playing, you know, five on five actual game minutes together, uh, the the better, the better off we will be, you know, from that. How has your game evolved over the last four or five years in terms of? Uh, you know, what you've been able to do in your skill set? I think I do less stuff on the court, honestly, you know. Um, I'm just more effective at the things that I do. Uh, when you're a rookie, you're kind of just testing out, you're doing everything, dribble, crossover, and this and that. I think the older you get, the more you kind of just, like, fine-tune your game and do the stuff that you're good at, and you just kind of cut out the stuff that's not as effective. And that's what I've done. That's what I've done, you know, and I've focused on, on being more effective in the post and, and in certain situations. And, and you know, it, it paid off last season. And I look forward to taking a step forward this, e this season. When you were in New York and you were just so young, was it good to be young and not know what the hell was going on and how the pressure was? It was, it that was, you mix? know. <laughs> it was, you know. When you're young, you just don't care. But <laughs> at least I did. You know, I was just kind of ignorant to everything around me. And it's like the most... The most like free I've felt almost in a way, you know. But also, you just I think that awareness is necessary. You know, you just cannot be like that for life. When you're young, of course, a lot of mistakes are also forgiven. But the older you get, the more like self-aware you have to be and about your game. And and that's what I've done. And 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 you know, it's it, it, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 different. It always changes, you know. But but uh, I agree with you that the younger you are, the more you kind of just out there and just almost like playing free, you know? You played with some high-level players, obviously, Luca, Brad Beal. Uh, but it seems like over here you've got, like, two through five better than the other two through five. Mm -hmm. How does that impact what you do, uh, you know, on the floor? Yeah, no, this is a very, um, very talented team, you know, all positions, and then guys that are not playing as much, you know, like Peyton, Sam, those not, guys are not getting as, as many minutes here, but they would play a lot more probably on a different team. You know? and, and, and what's really cool about that is that those guys are not complaining. They show up any, every day, same attitude, same like, same way. They're just super professional and, and just waiting for their moment. And, and that's the thing about being in a good team. Here. Everybody has to sacrifice a little bit. Everybody has to sacrifice. And, and, and that's what you can see with this group. Everybody's willing to sacrifice for for a bigger goal. What does sacrifice look like for you guys, for you specifically, as you try to play with other stars? I think it's just maybe not as many opportunities or not even that. It's just, honestly, it's not that much of a sacrifice. If at the end, if you're winning, what are you sacrificing? Nothing, your own stats for winning? Like, that's, it makes sense. I do that trade every day, you know? So. I wouldn't say, maybe it's like, yeah, I, I, yeah, a little bit of everything, you know, and you're just kind of playing, playing with these other talented players that you know that can make stuff happen, and 
and, and you know, you can kind of just be there to support if needed, almost, you know. And, and there's no, yeah, more or less like that. But honestly, I'm just going to play my game. I know everybody's going to play their game. And, and you know, if this, all of our stats dip a little bit or some stats dip a little bit, who cares? Nobody cares. We're, gonna, we're here to win. That's it. Al Horford uh, commented on what you can do on the defensive end. How excited are you for this defense? Say that again, sorry. How excited are you for this defense? Al Horford was talking a little bit about what you guys can do on the defensive end. Yeah, no, it's definitely some new stuff that we're kind of uh, working on and look to do in the game. And it's, uh, especially with Al, it's very easy to play, honestly, because he covers so much, uh, given that, like, at his, you know, at this stage of his career, he's, he's always in the, like, not, he has the experience. That's why he's always in the right spot and helping and talking and kind of covering up for some small mistakes that happen on the court. And, yeah, so far I love playing with him on, on both sides, but especially on defense. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.